as of shooting this video, Bob's Burgers is on their 13th season. Up until a couple weeks ago, I'd never seen a single episode of the show. That all changed when Patreon user Kate recommended I start watching this. And since she's a mithril tier level on Patreon, I had to do it. Her wish is my command. So here are my thoughts on Bob's Burgers. I should point out, I usually stick to movies. On occasion, I dip my toe into TV shows and people have requested them via Patreon. It's within reason. She only wanted me to watch the Thanksgiving episodes. But on top of that, I watched quite a few other episodes because I enjoyed the show. I didn't think I would, honestly. It didn't look like it was up my alley. The animation style is very crude. The characters are not pleasing looking in the slightest. <laughs> and I love South Park. I know that's the same way, but there was something about Bob's Burgers that from the trailers just did not appeal to me. It's funny too, because I love the lead voice actor who plays Bob. H. John Benjamin can be heard in Family Guy. He's criminally underutilized there. He plays like the comic book store dude. But I remember hearing him for the first time in a really old show on Adult Swim called Home Movies or Home Videos. I think it was Home Movies. That had even more crude animation. We're talking bottom of the barrel style of drawing. He played a coach and he was the funniest damn character ever. His voice is so boring and deep and perfect for animation. I don't know why he's not working around the clock. Then again, he has a hit show with Bob's Burgers. So I'm, I guess I'm just talking to no one because people clearly listened and they hired him. As the show title suggests, Bob owns a burger restaurant. It's not successful. In fact, it's failed several times, which you can tell just from the opening of the show where it keeps reinventing itself and reopening. He's got a very eccentric boss with an eye patch who wears white dapper suits all the time, comes in randomly requesting things from Bob to get out of having to pay the rent, which is always well past the due date. In a Thanksgiving episode, for instance, he has his whole family pretend to be his family, except for Bob, who he makes a short order cook in the back. So Bob gets to play himself, basically, in that episode, but the wife and kids have to be the family members of the eccentric dude, and it's just hilarity ensues, of course. The rest of his family includes Linda, his wife, voiced by John Roberts. Yes, a man voices a woman, that's actually common. Luis, my favorite of Bob's kids, voiced by Kristen Schaal. Kristen's been in the industry for a long time, both voice acting and on-camera personalities. She was in 30 Rock for a little while as a crazy page. She was in Last Man on Earth as one of the last women on Earth. She voices, uh, what's that show called? Gravity Falls. Can't remember the girl's name she plays, but that Gravity Falls is awesome. Another great animated show that only went to a few seasons. Has a nice beginning and ending, just perfect all around. And the character she plays there couldn't be more different than Luis. Luis is very dark and disturbing. She's constantly talking about killing people and just being a weirdo all around. I, I, Bob's family is great, and they're all very different, unique characters. I will say, Linda, not a fan of this character at all. Don't find her funny. Don't like when she sings. Don't like the way that the guy does her voice. It's just all around a miss for me. Rest of the family's spot on. His son Gene is hilarious, loves to eat, is a total glutton and a total idiot. Makes tons of movie references, which I appreciate. And then there's Tina, who hypersexualizes everything. She's constantly pining over a kid who's clearly gay. She's super plain and nerdy and awkward all around. Makes the worst types of jokes. Just really bad humor from her, which makes it funny. As I stated, Kate had me watch a lot of the Thanksgiving episodes, the Turkey Tales, the Turkey Chronicles, whatever they're called in the Bob's universe. I don't know, maybe I just made these things up. They were all very funny. They're all very funny. And looking from season to season, it looks like it swaps between turkey and Halloween episodes. Sometimes there's a couple turkey seasons in a row, then we have a Halloween thrown in. I think they missed a couple turkey seasons. Regardless, I appreciate that they keep going back to this idea, but they change it entirely every time. The only thing that remains consistent is Bob's love for the holiday. And this is an observation his own family makes who also doesn't appreciate this like he does. And what's really funny about the Thanksgiving episodes is it always starts with him talking to his turkey as he's getting ready to prepare it, whether he's basting it or coating it or bagging it. It's always just him making sweet, tender love verbally to this beast he's about to cook. And he has this relationship with the birds. He's like, 
what do you think about this? And then he does the voice of the bird back or he just pretends to hear it talking to him. It, it's very fun. It's very surreal. Like I already mentioned, one of the Thanksgiving episodes, they have to pretend to be a family of the eccentric boss. Another time, someone's putting the turkeys in the toilet. And the big takeaway is, so what did you do with the turkey? In which Bob, you know, obviously and understandably replies, what do you mean, what did I do? I threw it away. And people always seem to be taken aback by that response. Like, that wasn't the plausible thing. Like, they should eat the toilet water turkey. There's another Thanksgiving episode where the turkeys rise up and it's mass hysteria in the town. Bob doesn't care. He's watching the Super Bowl. He's living his life for the first time, not having to worry about Thanksgiving. But back of his mind knows he will have to prepare a bird. Another one that I really liked was he waited five years for this very special turkey to come in. It's all organic, cage-free. The turkeys have a better life than Bob. And he finally gets one delivered to him. And of course, that's when shit hits the fan and everyone has no gas. So he prepares a makeshift fire in an alleyway where he's going to cook this bird. <laughs> On another Thanksgiving episode, he has a friend of his who's a hoarder and who's never prepared a meal in his life. Doesn't have a clue how to make a Thanksgiving dinner. Bob walks him step by step through it. He writes down all the directions and the guy can't even get past how to start the oven. He's like, it's supposed to get started to 350? Or is it S50? And Bob's like, you already said 350. Why, why would it ever be S50? That doesn't even make sense. Now, like I said, I watched episodes outside of the Thanksgiving stuff, and I did notice that in the earlier seasons, I started at two. I, I, I was told by Kate to like skip number one. It's really weird. Maybe I'll go back to it sometime. But I did find the pacing of the jokes didn't quite land. A lot of the times, actually, in season two, there would be an attempt at a joke, and there would be this awkward pause or silence or maybe a padding of animation. I don't know what it was, but I never felt like they hit it right. Uh, like the punch wasn't there or it just was ill-timed. That stuff was all fixed. It was all ironed out by season three. And I found it really found a good pace from then forward. I've seen probably 30 episodes of Bob's Burgers now. I have no reason to stop. My son's obsessed with it. He's almost 11. I think he's like that peak age. There is some inappropriate stuff for sure. But it's not, it's not near as bad as Family Guy. I don't even think it's as risque as The Simpsons. It's definitely something that I feel comfortable having him watch, at least the episodes I saw. I will eventually crack into that Bob's Burgers movie too. I'm curious to see how that all turned out. What I'm left with though, Kate, is a very good show. I wouldn't say it reaches the greatness of, say, South Park or early Family Guy or early Simpsons. At least not yet. That doesn't mean it won't grow on me even further. I gave it a chance. I'm pleasantly surprised. It has exceeded expectations. I'm going to continue watching. And more importantly, thank you for being a Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. You too, non-Kates, can be a member at that mithril level and recommend a movie for me to watch. I review it. I give you a shout out. It's a, it's a pretty good time, I think. I'm catching up. I'm starting to build momentum. So now's a good time to join. Thanks again. Comment below what you think of Bob's Burgers. Were you like me? Did you pass? And, and maybe had an awakening one day? Did a Kate-like character come to you and say, watch this show, damn it? Or are you still on the fence? Give it a shot. Give it some episodes. Like this video if you had a good time. Please subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie and occasionally TV show content each week. Love to have you join us. Until then, take care.